137 apartments for low and extremely low income seniors with on site childcare and a community garden. That's the plan for the Market Street lot that used to house Health and Human Services and now sits empty. The county's housing director, David Estrella, says the project meets a dire need. For our seniors that are on fixed income, that are you know struggling to to you know meet their daily needs and um, really uh, you know don't have as many opportunities for you know uh, you know maintaining their housing, you know a, a property such as this one will provide them. Um, the, the kind of stability that they need. The county has a housing crisis. A spokesperson says it's short about 120,000 homes. They plan to build at least 10,000 affordable units on government land by 2030. State law requires them to use no longer needed surplus land for affordable housing whenever possible. There's 11 such sites so far, most in the San Diego metro area, including this lot in Choice View. Area neighbors say it's a great plan for somewhere else. We're going to oppose this, and you should look forward to having robust community opposition. Here, they say it's worsening issues the civil rights movement tried to address. The same problems that we had in 1963 is the same conversations we're having now. Poor school, segregation, the concentration of poverty. Mary Young sits on the planning group for the area, which the state defines as a low resource. It has higher poverty and lower education, employment, and home values. Residents argue locating this development here would raise that poverty level. Young says the county's land use choices are making disparities worse. They make these decisions to continue uh, layering po poverty on top of poverty on top of poverty and thinking that the outcome may be somehow different. Research indicates this issue is racially skewed. Poor white families tend to live in communities with lower poverty levels overall. Poor Black and Latino families more often live in communities with higher poverty overall and face hardships that result from personal poverty colliding with community poverty. Less resource schools, less safety, more police violence, lower quality housing. Choice view is mostly Black and Latino. Young says small decisions, like where to locate one affordable housing complex, chip away at the residents' long-term growth. Whatever wealth that everybody is talking about that we should be building, it doesn't happen because it's chiseled away. Years before news of this complex, the planning group published priorities for development in their neighborhoods. They said the ground level of mixed use lots should be for things like retail, offices, grocery and drug stores. There should be affordable home ownership opportunities, not just rentals, for middle income households to help alleviate the community's overall poverty. They ask why the development doesn't follow these goals and say the county didn't consult with them before hiring a developer. Jacinta Hinojosa, who lives near the lot, says the affordable housing complex was news to her neighbors. A lot of people don't know things are getting built around your community and we need to do more because some people are, don't have the time to attend or working or they don't have the right language. She and her son Alonso want to see the lot used for a park, something to help ease the effects of climate change, like the recent flooding, she says, which hit low-income neighborhoods of color the hardest. There are few green spaces in Choyas View that aren't schools or cemeteries. Planning group members argue the land didn't have to be declared surplus. It could have been used for something, like a park. The affordable housing could be located somewhere with more resources to give the seniors a shot at better outcomes without worsening already existing poverty. Housing Director David Estrella says he understands their concerns, but he also hears from people who need affordable housing. Folks that are formerly homeless, folks that are you know, just starting off their families, folks that have that have jobs that are working and just uh, just can't find a place nearby where their work is. Um, and so we, we balance the needs of, of, 
you know, the, the region and the, and the community within itself. The developers plan to break ground as early as December of next year. Community members say they may also be there with picket signs. Katie Heisen, KPBS News.